There's a common misconception that this unit that I'm unbolting here is actually called a diff or a differential. It's not. This is actually a final drive unit. The casing you can see that the unit's in is called the pinion carrier. And the differential itself is the gears in here in the internals. Plenty of different types on different vehicles and what you're looking at here is the uh, front axle final drive on a Land Rover Discovery 300, no sorry not a 300 TDI, it's actually, it was off a V8 with ABS. The front axle uh, final drive unit is probably the hardest to remove because you have to do a fair bit of stripping, remove the swivel hubs before you can get the unit out. A fairly common way to drive the final drive is with a, a prop shaft bolted to a flange. Now this is a four bolt flange with a hardy spicer joint. They're uh, fairly easy to get off, however it's probably more difficult in a vehicle than using two spanners on the floor here. These are 916 spanners. Just keep in mind with these flanges that, that there's also a boss which uh, locates so the flanges together don't slide and cause disbalance on the prop shaft. Alternative to using a hardy spicer joint um, and a four bolt fixing is a three bolt drive flange. And uh, you'll see that this has got a spigot for the prop shaft donut or flexible joint as Land Rover like to call them. Now there's a threaded bolt hole for extraction here and uh, you can see this is actually the new piece so you can see how far that's embedded into the flange. Fixed to that is the flexible joint or coupling which we call a donut and it fixes on here like that. Okay, you get the general idea. Alright, so the prop shaft will fit onto there and in the prop shaft end where the spigot goes is a bush. This bush here also has um, the right way and a wrong way to fit it and it fits in this way Obviously you need to extract the old one first. Okay. So the idea is the donut is between these two. However, what you'll notice is this is actually worn. Um, the full kit that you can get, kit shaft repair, the numbers here. Also on the flange you'll see a mud shield for the seal and the seal will be sitting behind there. And this is important. A vital factor with the uh, final drives is the half shaft splines. This one has 24 splines and um, some of them can have 10 splines. Most Land Rover owners will probably agree that you'll have to pull a half shaft out uh, to find out whether you have a 24 or 10 spline unit. Okay, looking from the back um, end of the uh, final drive, we're looking at the bearing caps here which retain bearings. Uh, they're adjustable to uh, get the backlash out between the crown wheel and the pinion. You have your differential carrier. Now as I said this is actually the differential. You have your sun gears and your planet gears that you can see here. The pinion is attached to the flange. You can see I'm turning this here. This drives the crown wheel. All right. This is the main part of the uh, changing the drive through 90 degrees. And taking a look deeper into it, you can see the bearing at the back here. Now that's one of two that holds the pinion in place. And they are shimmed, so that it's not just a matter of just chucking them in and getting on with it. It's quite a complex operation to set one of these up. If you ever wondered why that when you jack up an axle and uh, you spin one wheel and the other one goes the other way, this is the reason why. In the centre here we have a uh, cross shaft which the planet gears are retained with. Now these can snap causing problems. On the end here you can see the circlip in place and this also retains it. Point worth noting if you're draining the oil uh, have a fish about in uh, the casing to see if there's any debris and if there's any uh, thing that looks like part of this shaft then it's probably snapped and the thing needs to be replaced. There is a kit to do it by the way. 
Checking for backlash is quite important, whether you do it as a service item for inspection or actually buying a new diff. You want one that's very tight. Now turning the flange here, there's absolutely almost no backlash at all. If there was quite a bit of backlash, what you'll find is the uh, final drive will bang as you take up drive when you're driving.